what do you think about this now compared to when you first pulled it out of the box and when you first stepped on it, it you couldn't just get on it and ride it threw you off a lot but but now you understand it it's, it's very intuitive it's very intuitive it's like it's like a snowboard and powder I don't know it, it's there's nothing really like it because you don't have you don't have edges but you do have edges it's like the opposite of a skateboard in many ways and it the more you the more you try to control it like another board that you've ridden the worse you do so it's just like just kind of listen with your feet what this thing likes to do and before you know it you can do more than I thought this thing could do. I didn't know this thing could turn these kind of corners. Going on different terrain is really, I think, helpful. Yesterday when I was riding on the street, I went up, up an apron and I hit a bump and I think I would have eaten it bad if I hadn't been spending time on the grass. The, the mode you're riding in also makes a difference. I like the mission mode because it doesn't have a bunch of safeties and limits on it, it feels like. The other ones slow you down and that slow down where it kicks the board back almost makes me fall off. Seems like there's different mechanics for turning. You can dig your front toe in. You can also lean with your back toe, which is like a different kind of turn. I don't know. It's impressive, very impressive. It does way more than it looks like it should. The learning curve on it is very, very shallow, I think. Well, you're more polished today than you were yesterday. Yeah, and I'll be better tomorrow. I think different terrains, different obstacles, different things you're trying to get around helps. Than just riding on the road. Well, you're building muscle memory. My little stabilizer muscles are all have been unused for years and now they're mad at me.